Welcome to Taste University's main campus in Athi River, Kenya. This beautiful campus sits on a 300-acre piece of land at the foot of the Lukenya Hills. Daystar's vision of creating a distinguished Christ-centered university of choice, transforming the world through a world-class value-based education, began in 1967 when two American missionaries, Dr. Donald Smith and his wife, Faye Smith, together with Dr. Motsoko Feko from Zimbabwe, founded the then Daystar Communications in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Seven years later, Daystar Communications would move to Nairobi, Kenya and later become Daystar University after being awarded its charter in 1994. Professor Stephen Talitwala was appointed as Daystar's first vice-chancellor. In March 2019, Professor Laban Airo joined Daystar as its fourth vice-chancellor, marking a new dawn at the university. Part of his first activities included the strengthening of a sense of spirituality and values within the Daystar family. Since his arrival at Daystar, Professor Airo has embarked on a number of projects. Among this is the construction of a perimeter wall at the main campus in Athi River. So far, a third of the wall is complete. The idea is to have the whole 300 acres of the campus fenced. The main campus is slowly getting converted from an arid environment to a lush green one following the ongoing planting of trees, flowers, and even grass. Since August 2019, over 10,000 trees have been planted as part of the campus beautification program. These range from indigenous, exotic to fruit trees. They are transforming both campuses and creating fresh, relaxing environment for the Daystar community. The goal is to plant about 50,000 trees. Daystar students received a boost for their extracurricular activities when their old fitness center was upgraded into a modern facility following a donation from Jock and Kami Eigster. The center is not limited to the students only, but the entire Daystar family. Apart from that, communication students now have modern digital recording studios after the Valley Road campus saw the construction and equipment of five new radio studios. The student-run radio station at the main campus got an equipment upgrade as well. In total, Daystar now has about 15 studios available for broadcast students. These facilities were made possible following a donation by Dr. John and Marie Mountain Clerk in partnership with the University of Northwestern St. Paul. Through a partnership with Devki, a local steel company, Dexter is now replacing its asbestos roofs with a more eco-friendly aluminum roofing. It is this roofing that was used in the construction of an upcoming poultry unit that is intended for rearing an initial 3,000 chicken. In an effort to seek alternative water supplies, a new borehole at the main campus that was commissioned in January 2020 has ended a water challenge that has been experienced for many years. The solar-powered borehole has the capacity to produce 200 cubic meters of water per day. The main campus now has two boreholes, while a recent one has been sunk at the Valley Road campus to mitigate the water shortage there as well. The nursing students are also excited about the construction of their school that is currently underway. The groundbreaking for this project happened on the 18th of January 2022. 
We thank God for our friends Jerky and Kermi Eichster for partnering with us in this project. Another one of Professor Ayuro's dreams is the construction of the School of Theology and Missions. The ground clearing and eventual breaking will be happening soon. The entire Daystar community is grateful to all its partners and we thank God for transforming Daystar into a center of excellence that will produce servant leaders for the future.